Hi, I'm Laura Brasagini, the Children's Director here at Crossroads, and I want to share with you a new tool that each one of you will have in your classrooms. Sometimes you might have kids during story time that have trouble attending to the story, they want to move around and fidget, and um, a lot of times these kids might have ADHD or autism or sensory integration disorder, and they just have trouble sitting still during the story. Well, our orphan care team has put together a tub of fidget buster toys. And these are just especially for kids who have trouble sitting and focusing during their story time. I want to caution you that this tub is not for centers or playtime, so you don't want to have let kids have access to the tub. It's only for teachers who want to give something to the kids who need trouble, who have trouble focusing during story time. So I'm just going to show you what's in the tub, and then you'll be able to use these with your kids. First of all, um, your tub will look like this, and it has a little lid on it, and it has a list of supplies. Kelly Johnson from the Orphan Care team has put this together for us. And um, in each tub, there are some things you can use with your kids. So the first one is super simple. It's just a balloon that's barely blown up, and the kids can just squish it and hold it and use it um, to play with during story time. There's a whole package of balloons in your tub, and that's what they're for, is to make little balloons like this. Um, there's some wiki sticks in there, and these are kind of... Um, wax coated sticks and so they are really good tactile sensory things for the kids to just kind of stick and play with and spin and they won't have any noise they'll be really um, not distracting to the rest of the kids so these are great for the kids to play with during story time there's some kind of little toy um, that is squishy that is really good for them to just be able to get their wiggles out that way and keeps them focused and again it's a real quiet soft thing so it won't distract from the story time we have some play-doh always great for kids to just kind of touch and feel during um, when something's going on. We have some pipe cleaners. The kids can um, feel the softness of the pipe cleaners, play with those a little bit. We also have some Chanel stems which are like pipe cleaners but they just have a little bit more tactile distinction so they have some thin ends and some more puffy ends for those kids. We have a pinwheel and this might be good if you need to help calming down a kid. You can ask them to take deep belly breaths and just blow into the pinwheel and that can help them to just calm themselves if they get really escalated or upset. Um, another thing that might be used to calm down an upset child is bubbles. Now you won't want to use this of course during story time because if you have, start blowing bubbles that's going to escalate everything. But if you have a child that's crying or upset or doesn't want to leave their parents, um, sometimes just taking them out and blowing bubbles with them and letting them blow bubbles will really help to um, get them engaged and help to calm them down a little bit from their parents. There's a um, sticky frog, so again, you probably won't want to use this with the real little ones because they could put it in their mouth and eat it, but it's just squishy and they can um, squeeze it and play with that a little bit during story time. So of course we want to include all kids in our children's classrooms. We want to make this a great experience for all the kids, but we also don't want kids to be distracting other children who are trying to listen to God's word. So use this tub of tools um, for with your kids and be sure and let us know how it's working or if there's some things that are working really well and aren't working well that we can um, make some adjustments. And I just appreciate all you do with the kids at Crossroads, teaching them God's word and showing them God's love. And again, thanks especially to um, the orphan care team and Kelly Johnson for putting these together for us.